SH Pratt Group supply the UK with a very large amount of bananas. Uh, we're both importer and service provider. Um, we have one of the largest ripening centres in Europe. Um, but we also have other aspects to our business such as logistics and we're also getting into a new venture called Halo at London Gateway which will not involve bananas. So banana supply has been very difficult and I think the industry acknowledges that. Um, I think it's been problematic through weather conditions around the Caribbean basin, so Costa Rica, Colombia, um, some of the more outlying countries. And there's also been a, a lot of shipping delays that we've experienced partly through those weather conditions. Um, I think we're coping quite well at the moment. I don't like to tempt fate and I'm touching wood as I say this, but we seem to be getting through it okay by our very careful and thought through procurement strategy, which allows us to access uh, a number of growers who are very close to us and can help us to get through difficult situations like this. So, so far, it is very difficult, but we are getting through it and I hope that the situation improves in the next few weeks. It's yet to be seen. It's a very good question. Um, I think maybe yes. The problem is the logistics of shipping bananas from much further afield. Even though bananas are shipped green, there is a shelf life, a definite shelf life to those bananas. So if you get into selling times of four or five weeks, you could start to run into problems with fruit. I think a number of people are looking at experimenting with places like India, uh, and maybe even China holds some kind of prospect. Um, but for the, for the short to medium term, Central South America and West Africa still is, are the key areas for us. Um, it would be too difficult to go anywhere else currently. If we look anywhere else, as I said, India is a possibility. India is, I think, and I might be wrong, one of the largest producers of bananas in the world. Most of those bananas go to the home market. Um, it is accessible in terms of shipping. I'm not sure the logistics are quite ready yet, but they could be in a couple of years' time, say. Um, at the moment, it's business as usual, so Brexit is yet to be made clear about what it is. Um, we're still waiting to find out, so we carry on as we were. Um, most of our trading is done outside of Europe, so Central and South America particularly. So I don't see Brexit affecting us immediately. Um, Labour could be a problem in the future, but we think we're well placed in the location that we've got in Luton to cope with that change if it happens. I think Panama disease is a major threat to the global banana industry and we should all be mindful of that. I know that there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes to try and find alternative varieties or hybrid varieties with Cavendish that can cope with the change of the disease and its spread throughout the world. Um, I think it's probably a little way off in terms of getting to Central and South America and I've got my fingers very much crossed here. Um, I know that there is some spread into Africa um, and I know a lot of precautions are being taken on farms to prevent people transporting it or bringing it on their feet into the plantations. Um, it'll take a little longer to get there than maybe the press is making out but it is vital that we find alternatives to combat the disease because as the press say it could wipe out bananas in the future, but maybe a little further off than, than we are led to believe at the moment. Um, banana prices rose as a consequence of Brexit initially when the it became pressure from the exchange rate changes. Um, I think there is still opportunity for prices to rise. Bananas globally are probably too cheap. Uh, but in terms of what customers pay for bananas, really that's a matter for each customer and it's taken on its own individual basis so that um, they are, customers are mindful of the challenges of banana pricing ahead, but obviously it's, it's for each customer to, to make those decisions themselves.